Oh, hello there. Hot mode is on the other uh, on the other um, channel. Hello there. Good evening or good morning. Good afternoon. I'm glad to see you again. And I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised that I saw hot mode is in the other channel, the, the, the gaming channel. Nice to see you there, hot mode. Uh, okay, let's see who's here first. Duh, Chester. Welcome. Thank you. Why was there no 5 p.m. live stream? Remember I told you that I'm not going to do the 5 uh, I, I'm not going to be live streaming anymore in, in Johnny D's channel. So today, 5 p.m. is supposed to be on his channel, not my channel. So I'm not doing it anymore in his channel. So that's why there's no 5 p.m., Jersey boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hulk Mode is also here in my channel. Let's see who else. Um, uh, okay. Why did it just... What's... My, my mouse just froze. My computer just froze. Okay, there you go. Uh, so, oh, Heat Film Express is the editor that you're using, Chester. It's good for effects, but not that good for simple video editing. Uh, <laughs> and who did you get to voice act in the Sabotage Drake video? Uh, Jersey Boy is premiere, so not 100% sure. Okay, it's 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 so nice to learn from each other. I think it's really nice to be learning from each other. Um, the glitch, I had to look up a tutorial. It was much more complicated than I thought it would be, but you can just simply find glitch green screen, green, green screen footage. Okay, the voice actor was just a Morgan Freeman impressionist from Fiverr. I'm learning from you, Chester. That's why I used Jesus Christ in Fiverr. I got that from Chester. <laughs> uh, as far as the voiceover, I think Jersey Boy, uh, you can ask, you can ask TMNT39. He's got a very nice voice. He sent me an, uh, 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 a video about Jimi Hendrix that he made, and the voice was, he, he was the one who narrated it. It was really good. Okay, who else is here? Benji is here. Uh, hello there. Oh, Beastie Streams, nice to see you here. I thought you were going to be in in, a, in Johnny D's channel, the, the, the gaming channel, because I'm going to make you a mod over there. Uh, anyway, there's not a lot of people there yet because it's not yet uh, known to uh, to a lot of uh, subscribers. So we're gonna work on that. Are we gonna see more some uh, plants versus zombies today? <laughs> yeah, I think I might because I'm getting addicted to it. I can't wait to do it again tonight. Hi there, hot mode in Johnny this gaming channel. Yeah, I might do <clears throat> maybe a little bit of uh, random topics and news if there's anything to talk about, and then after that, <laughs> I'll just play zombies. Plants versus zombies, because because my brain was eaten out. I have to do. I have to redeem myself. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. If there, uh, Sir Bacon, Sir Bacon is there. Hello there. Oh, there you go. Uh, Beastie streams. Now I'm gonna make you mod. How do I do that? Add mod. There you are. Because <clears throat> I need I need a mod in in the new gaming channel. Uh, hello there, Lightning Gamer. Uh, Janet is okay. He's actually um, by the patio when I when I uh, went there to see him. Uh, yep, uh, he's by the patio right now, drinking something, I guess. Oh, hello, Bob Ross. It's nice to see you there in the gaming channel. Okay, so um, I think both both channels has the chat enabled. So. Uh, when we do the riddles, oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad that you, you've always wanted to be a mod, a business ribs. Hopefully, we'll get some more subscribers in the Johnny D Gaming channel. I will be announcing it a lot in in Johnny D's uh, in Johnny D's channel. I will do that uh, so that we can gain more subscribers and get uh, more people participating. So again, uh, for the uh, for the riddle, when I do the riddle, please no cheating. No Googling because you will just ruin the fun, okay? Don't ruin the fun. Just guess and say whatever is in your mind. I don't want you to cheat, okay? <laughs> oh, Robo, hello there. Nice to see you. I'm, I'm doing okay, and I hope you are fine. Uh, I haven't seen you lately. 
Oh, I think I did. Yeah, you were the other day. Uh, okay, Reagan J, how are you? Uh, from Benji, I just fell asleep, almost dropped my phone. Oh, wow. Ain't no party like a Miss Helen party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. There. Okay, before I do the readouts, of course, I'm going to be reading a joke. I actually have two jokes from a uh, from a subscriber who emailed me. And anybody else who wants to send jokes or readouts, kindly send it to me at mrsdnmore at gmail.com. Okay, let's go to the first joke. This was sent by Mystica Madman 7. Thank you for the joke, Mystica Madman 7. It says here, <clears throat> a woman gets on a bus with her baby. The driver says, oh, that's the ugliest baby I've ever seen. The woman walks to the rear of the bus and sits down, fuming madly. She says to the man next to her, that driver just insulted me. And the man says, the man next to her says, you go up there, man, and tell him off. Go on. Go tell him off. I'll hold your monkey for you. Oh, gosh. This is like, oh, my goodness. Uh, it's, a, it's, 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 <laughs> the insult got worse. I, I hope you got that. Did you get it? Did everybody got that? <laughs> I'll hold your monkey for you. <laughs> That's really sad. Go on, go on. Tell him off. I'll hold your monkey for you. Uh, okay, another one that was sent to me by Mystica Madman, Madman 7. Um, here it is. A man, oh no, a madman, no. A man. <laughs> a man walks into a bar. A man walks into a bar and says, Give me a beer before the problem starts. So he drinks the beer and then orders another, saying, Give me a beer before the problem starts. The bartender looks confused. This goes on and on for a while, and after the fifth beer, the bartender is totally confused and asks the, ma the, the man, when are you going to pay for these beers? And then the man answers, now the problem starts. <laughs> so that's when the problem starts. Okay, hope you got it. Thank you again, Mystic Madman 7. There you go. <laughs> okay, now we go to the riddles. Again, no cheating, please. I will be looking at your answers. No cheating, and also I will see if there are any uh, answers here in Janity's channel, the gaming channel. There you go. We're going to start. This is the first one. Oh, hello there, Chrome 1516 in the uh, Janity gaming channel. I'll start with the one that was sent to me. Actually, the first one was sent to me last week, and then he just sent me one uh, today. It says, um, oh, this is from Nolan Cheshire, the, the Cannabis Enthusiast. Is that how you spell it? I'm not familiar. Canna can cannabis? Cannabis? I, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's like a drug, like a marijuana. Is that the one? From Nolan. Let's, let me just call him Nolan <laughs> Cheshire. Just Nolan. Um, the first one, I think we, we had this before, if you remember. So no cheating. The more you take the more you leave behind. What am I? The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Let's see. Herion or heroin? Heroin. <laughs> Chester, the more you leave, the more you take, the more you leave behind. Hard drugs? <laughs> oh, I think you're talking about the cannabis. Okay. So uh, the more you take, the more you leave behind. Anybody who can answer that? Um, uh, ye boy, ye. Oh, welcome. I've heard this before, but can't remember the answer. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, from Reagan J, friends, 2, 1. 
Okay, the answer is footsteps. Hi there, Edge Blogs and Bob Ross is here saying, friends, uh, nope, the answer is footsteps. Uh, Miss Helen, will you be doing some plants versus zombies tonight? Yep, after the random topics and news, uh, probably do another um, uh, plants versus zombies. <laughs> it's so funny to see you get angry at the game. I'm not angry. I'm just frustrated. I want to kill the zombies myself. I want to strangle the zombies if I could. <laughs> uh, okay. The hell is a food stamp? No. <laughs> Footprints from Chester. Okay. Okay. You got that. I think there's a delay. When are you going to play Fortnite? Um, Michael will be playing Fortnite in this channel, the gaming channel. Uh, I, he's just getting it ready. Uh, BBZ is the classic game. Yeah, I know. I'm getting addicted to it. Okay, another jo uh, another riddle from Nolan. You have three stoves. Okay, you have three stoves. A gas stove, a wood stove, and a coal stove, but only one match. Which should light first? Again. You have three stoves, a gas stove, a wood stove, and a coal stove, but only one match. Which should you light first? <laughs> Why would you need three stoves? <laughs> the wood stove, because it's made of wood? Mm -hmm. There you go. Benji got the answer. <laughs> the match. Which should you light first? The match. <laughs> The switch, I think Chester meant the switch. Yep, almost, almost. You got it, Chester. You almost got it. So which which should you like first? The answer is match, the match. <laughs> okay, um, the next one. No, I mean which? <laughs> you, really, you really mean which? Burn the witch. Yeah, burn the witch. <laughs> the light bulb so you can see. <laughs> okay, the next one. What animal? What animal is always at a baseball game? I think we had this before a long time ago, the very first series. What animal, what animal is always at a baseball game? <laughs> My mom. <laughs> there you go, Benji got it again. A bat and Reagan J. Yes, a bat. The animal that is always at a baseball game. A bat. We go to the next one. How do you get a squirrel to like you? How do you get a squirrel to like you? Yep, Benji, two in a row. <laughs> the next one, how do you get a squirrel to like you? <laughs> ye boy, ye, show it your nuts. Give it your nuts from half mode. Give him your nuts, Bob Ross. Let it eat your nuts from Benji. You make it go nuts. Okay. It's just almost, yeah. Yep. What? I didn't I didn't get to see the, uh, the answer from Chester before he retracted it. I was trying to, to, to read it. He retracted it. Okay. The answer is act like a nut. <laughs> act like a nut. And the next one. How are false teeth like stars? How are false teeth like stars? Anybody? How are false teeth like stars? They're white and privileged, just like <laughs> my ancestors. Okay, they're white and privileged. They die all the time. The false teeth? Or the stars. They are non-destructible by Benji. Okay. Could be. They come out at night. <laughs> Very good, Hawk Mode. I hope you didn't Google that. They go in your mouth from Bob Ross. Yes, the false teeth and the stars. <laughs> well, yeah. Just clarifying from Reagan. Um, hello there, Carlos made us fan page. They impose they implode in on themselves, creating a black hole. <laughs> creating a black hole from Chester. Okay, Hawk Mode Googled it from Benji. Did he, do you think? 
Uh, okay, I think uh, Hulk Mode didn't. So from from Bob Ross, depends. From Ray and Jay, came out at night. Okay, the next one. How can you tell a vampire has a cold? How can you tell? How can you tell that a vampire has a cold? Chester, you're always retracting your messages. I know, and Benji also. <laughs> Uh, what? What is that answer, Carlos? For, for, for what is that? When it sneezes from Reagan J. Uh, when he sneezes from Bob Ross. If it needs a hanky. If he is cold. Hi, hi there, Christine Grunert. Hello. It swings open your door and asks for tissues. Could be. <laughs> okay. Uh, when he tells you, yeah, he could tell you. The vampire could tell you. I have colds. Anybody else? Thank you, ben Benji, for that. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay. How can you tell a vampire has a cold? I actually have to type the answer for this. Vampires aren't real. When it storms into your house, destroys your television, and cops directly into your mouth. Okay, if you said I am cold, this is the answer. There you go. He starts coughing. <laughs> when he starts coughing, that's how you can tell that a vampire has cold. <laughs> the next one. What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? Let's see. <laughs> My dad, a stick. Yeah, boy, yeah, got it right, right away. A stick. <laughs> I like that. My dad, he <laughs> won't come. Boomer by. That's also a good one, Benji. Good one, good one. Boomerang. <laughs> That's good, a boomerang. <laughs> oh, that was a guess as well. Okay, uh, the next one. Why can't Elsa have a balloon? Why can't Elsa have a balloon? I think they're talking here about Elsa from the movie Frozen. Why can't Elsa have a balloon? She would let it go. Yep, exactly. Ye boy, ye. <laughs> Because she freezes it from Benji. Because she's a woman. Because <laughs> she frees it. She would let it go. Yes. She would let it go. That's why she can't have a balloon. The next one. Where do pencils go on vacation? Women don't deserve balloons. <laughs> from Chester. Oh, I'll give you a lot of balloons. So Women don't deserve balloons. Maybe men deserve balloons. Okay. Uh, what? Where do pencils go on a vacation? From Reagan J. From the previous answer, uh, question, be because she would pop it. She has immense issues with responsibility. <laughs> Reagan J. Yep. Pennsylvania. Benji. Pennsylvania. <laughs> I can't spare from Benji. <laughs> right up my throat. From Reagan, they go painting. Yep, uh, Pennsylvania is the answer. The next one, why did the banana go to the doctor? Why did the banana go to the doctor? Let's see. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Because it was sick, he split. Because it lost its skin, okay. Because he <laughs> because he turned into a banana, okay. How did it get there in the first place? <laughs> it had a severe, severe case of hypothermia from Reagan J. <laughs> he split. <laughs> uh, okay, good answer, Benji. But wh why do you think? Why did the banana go to the doctor? He had done this. <laughs> okay, I think I will type the answer here so you would uh, get it better. The idea of a checkup appealed to him. Banana cancer. Here is the answer. 
because it wasn't feeling well. <laughs> he had a serious issue with heroin. Why is food going to the docks? <laughs> I can't even get an appointment. <laughs> Benji, yeah, I know you you have uh, you have a headache. You're trying to get an appointment with a doctor. You can't get an appointment until March. Yeah, why would a doc? Uh, why would a banana go to the doctor? <laughs> Hemochromat, what's that? Hemochromatosis from bad Bob Ross. Okay, the next one. Oh, I think we've had this before. This was also uh, sent by Broken Fingers thirty five. Oh, did I mention who was sending this? Um, this, this is all from Broken Finger 35. Uh, what stays in the corner yet can travel all over the world? If you were paying attention before uh, my previous uh, Tuesday series, you would know the answer. What stays in the corner yet can travel all over the world? Reagan J, Benji, we know you're an alien. We don't serve beings that are of this. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Um, bananas are the reason the NHS is such a bad state. What? I've had seven appointments since November. Postage stamp. Yep, Bob Ross got it. He got it. There you go. Time from Kristen Grunert. So what stays in the corner yet can travel all over the world? The answer is stamp. And I have three more coming from Broken Finger 35. What is, why is your profile name like that? <laughs> Time from Christine. Yeah. Okay. The next one. What do you call a funny mountain? Hi, hi there, Lauren M. Let's make your moderator here. There you go. Because I'll be needing mods in the future. Um, what do you call a funny mountain? Ah, uh, wow, better tell my parents they had an alien <laughs> from Benji. <clears throat> Why this world don't like clowns? Because they smell funny. <laughs> okay, um, from Lauren, sorry, I haven't been at the streams open, uh, often. That's okay, Lauren, that's fine. Just uh, watch the videos if you have time. Uh, from Bob Ross, Mount Vestfanius. <laughs> Mount Vestfanius, okay, that uh, sounds um, uh, not really, uh, not entirely, co partly correct, Mount uh, Ves, but it's a Mount, Mount Vestfanius, mountains are so hard, uh, okay, I don't know, <laughs> what do you call a funny mountain? I will give you the answer. I'm going to type it again so you will understand it fully. And the answer is, what do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious. <laughs> oh, Chester got it. Chester actually got it before I, I uh, gave the answer. It's called Hilarious. Good job, Chester. Mount everyone. <laughs> okay. I have two more from Broken Finger 35. What do you call a fish without an eye? I am going to type the question here. Um, I, I'm going to type the answer. What do you call a fish without an eye? There you go, Benji. <laughs> Benji got it. Benji is smart. Yep, that's the fish without an eye. And from Christine, pirate fish. <laughs> but it still has an eye, just one. But this one is without an eye. So Benji got it. It's a shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Okay, and the last one. I'm not sure if we got this before. It sounds familiar to me. Yep, Benji is smart. Okay, the last one. Why double pirate fish from Chester? The last one. Why was six so mad at seven? Why was six so mad at seven? I think we had this before because it sounds familiar to me. Yep. It's crispy. Bob Ross almost got it. At, um, yep. Almost there. Seven, eight, nine. Yep. It's seven, eight, nine. 
nine. That's why it's mad at seven. Uh, at seven. Okay, I think uh, that's about it. Thank you again to Broken Finger Thirty Five for the uh, riddles. Nolan Cheshna the cannabis enthusiast for uh, some other um, uh, riddles, and to Mystica Madman for the jokes. So uh, if you if you would like uh, your jokes or riddles to be shared here, just kindly send it to me because I can't be reading it. As, uh, you know, while I'm doing this, I can't be reading it anymore because I, then I will, won't be able to follow up with the answer is because there are so many comments coming in and it's, it's going to be confusing for me. So please uh, write them and, and send it to me on my email at mrsdnmore at gmail.com. I'm enjoying this because I'm also learning a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I'm learning a lot from the jokes and from the riddles. So I think that's about it. It's 25 minutes, so I got to go and see you again at 8 o'clock. If there's nothing much to talk about uh, in the random topics and news, then we will go or I will go play Plants vs. Zombies and you can watch me get mad at the zombies because I'm really mad at them. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I haven't even planted anything or put any weapons. It's also already coming. So bye for now. See you at 8. Hugs and kisses from Miss Helen. <laughs> Love you all. See you later.